Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a contemporary singing specialist based in Australia. And today I am finally returning to Lara Fabian. I mean, she blew my mind. She took my musical soul last time that I reacted to her, which was uh, Je suis malade and way too long ago did that reaction occur. So I'm very keen to dive into Adagio with you today. Super excited. Let's get into this. Okay, before my brain just disappears into a giant pit of fangirling, um, I'm just going to point out a couple of things that, that influence how expressive this kind of performance is. The way in which she shifts her placement and her tonal color is just, it's so gosh darn beautiful. <laughs> I can't, ugh, I'm struggling to find words because it's not just the fact that there is you know, placement changes and color changes happening. It's the ease at which she plays with these elements. There are some singers who will never leave like one kind of vocal color in the entirety of a song. In the entire duration of a song, they might never leave the same tonal color. And within this one, I mean, she is playing with this placement and these color changes within the same phrase. Beautiful, connected phrasing as well as momentum and... Mm, I just, I feel so strongly about expressive singing. And sometimes people think to be expressive, it's just your facial expressions. Well, it's, it's not. Your voice plays so much of a role in how people will interpret your intention for a particular lyric. And so I'm, I'm gonna find an example, but you can hear throughout a phrase, she will go from something that seems to sit a little bit more forward, that's a little bit more bright. Sometimes it goes a little bit nasalized. And as she moves towards the bottom of a phrase, she'll bring in this darkness, this warmth to her tonal quality. And it just plays with you. I just adore this. <laughs> I'm not even halfway through. I just, I'm not even halfway through and she's got my whole soul again. Okay. <laughs> Oh, ah. <laughs> this is gonna be 20 minutes of me just going into a artistic panic because I just love this so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's, let's, let's listen to that phrase again. And I'll point it out and then I'm gonna keep going because I wanna hear the rest, but just so that you guys know what it is that is just 
messing me up. <laughs> One of the elements that are messing me up. I could talk forever probably on the things that she's done just within this first section, but we want to, we want to see the rest of it. So I'm not going to do that. Um, caption, Julia, you're up. Okay. So this section here. Just, I just adore this. I love it so much. Um, we're going to re-listen to that phrase. What we're listening for. She starts off in a slightly brighter placement, going to something that is slightly more aspirated, a little bit more pulled back. As she moves through this um, slightly agile passage, I say slightly, she's got this beautiful flexibility and agility that she is showcasing with immense ease all throughout what we've listened to so thus far. She moves through that little agile passage and as she descends, we start to get a little bit more warmth, a little bit more uh, depth to the sound quality and then the, the way she ends skin. St oh, we need to listen to it again. So she's going up for that, ah, uh, she's got this like slightly brighter, ah, uh, that kind of quality in there, ah, uh, and she like pulls back from this sound onto something that's not super aspirated, but it just, it pulls the sound back. It feels like we're moving. Oh, and then into the Agile Passage. Under my skin. Under my, we've got this warmer sound coming into the vocal quality there and then as she gets towards the end of the phrase she does something similar to what she did at the start where she pulls back on skin and it just it feels like there's so much more momentum and the words the words have so much more expression to them because of how she's chosen to play with the color play with the dynamics play with this forward bright pull back fast passage into warm and then skin just I'm losing it. We're gonna lose. We're gonna watch it one more time, and then, and then we'll keep going because I, I, I can't cope. Clearly. shift there there's surround you like oh my god I'm dying <laughs> the sensitivity required just oh So here we've got the tongue getting involved and we actually earlier in the performance, you could see her, her opening passage, her tongue movement that was facilitating some of those uh, sounds that you're hearing in the very first thing that she sung at the beginning of this song. I, I'll give you a more extreme examples, but if I was to go, we can hear like a dullness to that quality. She is playing with that in this section as well. And it's the most that I've heard her play with it just yet. When the time is right.
I felt like I just had an out of body experience. That's insane. So you'll have to forgive me. That was, that was amazing. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's going to be very difficult to encapsulate everything that she's doing. And it almost does a disservice to the immense ex emotional impact of what she just did vocally to break it down to, into its tiny parts. So I guess I think I'll just speak to the things that affected me the most. So I'm not even going to break this down as a vocal coach. I want to look at this as a singer myself and the things that just turned my whole body into one giant like goose bump. That was amazing. That was amazing. Um, I, I was not going to pause that because I was like, I need to, I, I need more. <laughs> I need more. Her breathing and her support capacity is just incredible. Like as a vocalist, I'm listening to that going, how the actual F, because when you're a singer and you listen to other singers, after you've been singing for a while, your body automatically plays with almost like the sensation of mimicry. You yourself are not making these sounds, but as you're listening, it's almost like your brain is trying to figure out the sensation of what it is that vocalist is doing. And her breath management is just insane. My sensation mimicry, if you will, was going how the actual, like, it must feel incredible to be able to make your way through phrasing like that and to still have stuff left in the tank for this insane belting transition that she did. I mean, musically, it's already been just absolutely delightful. We've had some modulations in there, um, some different qualities that have been drawn both from the instrumentation and also from her singing, but this belting section. That you just insane. This is incredible singing. I mean, already <clears throat> she's played with these dynamics the first time she goes up and it sounds like she's going to go for a full belt and doesn't quite make it there. It lulls us back and we're like, okay, no, here we go. Here we're going this time. Oh, wow. We really are getting a thunderstorm. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, sorry. I got distracted by the weather. That was, that was a bit of a loud, louder thunder clap. Um, okay. But <laughs> back to Lara. So we have this incredible belt that she's already teased us with hasn't gone full dynamic the first time. Second time she's putting more energy into it until she's going on this full belt. Where is she pitch wise? Okay, so she's on a B4 there. <sighs> incredible sustain after this. Up to a D flat or a C sharp. I'm not sure what key we're in. But oh my goodness, I'm just dying. It's not even the belt. It's also listen, listen to what a vibrato is doing. She's on a straight tone for this first one. So she's got two ways that she is approaching that belt while in a, sust while in a sustain and then going up to the... <laughs> going up to that D flat or C sharp or whatever. Just, it's, in, it's incredible listening to vocalists who have this kind of mastery over their instrument. It is incredible. So that first belt, we've got a little bit of mass. She's mixing slightly, but we've still got a fair amount of um, that fuller first register tone. In fact, she manages to maintain that first register tone all the way up through this belt. Like it's powerful. There's no, I don't think anyone would listen to this and go, oh, you know, it's like a fully mixed belt. No, there's some, there's some more mass to that. You can also hear that there's probably an element of uh, constriction in, in the tone that she's producing on this particular sound. The mouth is wide open. We've got this almost like square shape. If you watched my um, Tom Jones reaction, he also uses a square shape for some of his belting. Uh, anyway. Uh, and as she moves up into the modulation, she actually mixes just a little bit more. You can hear a shift in that tone. It no longer feels as heavy as she goes up, but she's also releasing to this stunning, even vibrato 
as she grows up, I'm just in love. <laughs> We hear that tonal shift, right? Right? It's, it is gorgeous. And because there is a little bit more, I would say, an element of mass and constriction in that first sound, not constriction in a bad way, I mean that there's a particular tonal quality which makes me believe she is holding out with this mass sound on that first belt. Anyway, just gorgeous. She demonstrated so many fantastic techniques. The same techniques that um, I did point out in my first Lara Fabian reaction, so I'm probably not going to dive into it in as much detail on this one. I'll maybe let Caption Julia carry a lot of the, t the smaller details because I couldn't stop. So we basically listened to this one in like two batches. It's just phenomenal performance. And the last thing that I'm going to comment on, she is a stunning vocal model, but also as a performance model. So we talk about modeling a lot uh, in um, vocal coaching, but also with singers. We have singers that we like listening to, that we like emulating, that have habits and demonstrations of skill that we aspire to, and we try to model after them. So for Lara, it's not just the vocal ability, it's the performance ability, this connection that she has emotionally that shows up in her body, that shows up in her facial expressions. It almost creates a loop. If I'm to put my vocal coach hat back on, Emotion itself is a technique. It will switch on supporting muscles that just wanting to switch them on won't, if that makes sense. So if you are highly emotionally uh, connected as Lara is here and your whole body becomes your instrument, um, so Lara is incredibly connected to herself physically in this performance as well, you are going to create highly expressive dynamic vocals and it's it's going to show up in your performance ability as well people may connect with you on a more authentic uh, level because what you're putting into it is authentic can be very can come from a very genuine place and that's sort of also what I want to get at because this is just this is an amazing performance I am so so annoyed that I didn't listen to this sooner. It's been so long since my first reaction to Lara as a vocalist. And I don't know why it's taken me so long, but now I'm, I want to kick myself um, that, I, that I didn't listen to this sooner because she, she's just incredible. What's another Lara Fabian performance that's just absolutely mind blowing? Let me know and I, I will get to this one sooner. But it's sort of rare when my analytical brain gets completely shut down and just, she's done it twice now. I'm just losing my, just lose my mind um, listening to some of the things that she does and engaging with, I mean, who she is as a performer in these, in these clips. So just sensational. Um, anyways, that is it for me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like, click the subscribe button and the bell notification beside it for more just like this one. As usual, I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are staying healthy and I will see you next time. sick <coughs> yeah. oh please tell me it's gonna storm it has been been too warm it's been it's about to say hot as balls oh whoops yeah, i could probably compose a whole song about being way too sweaty and this skin it's like oh just pulls back again i am losing it <laughs> okay please 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 break this disgusting humidity and then she pulls what have i done with my hair Oh, have I ruined it all? I have. No. God damn your headphones. Okay, so. <laughs> ah! Oh, is it raining? Oh, thank God.